Uh, hello everyone, this is Protagonist, otherwise known as Protag, and today we have our third guest to go through this maze. Uh, she is a very wonderful uh, voice actress uh, in many dubs that you've probably heard of, uh, an amazing singer, and Aww. also a <laughs> and also a very good Genshin streamer. That made me nervous. When you show up, it makes me nervous. She has a lot of prints that you can go, go check out. She's an artist as well. You also draw a lot of your emotes from what I've seen. I so, do. So, yeah, this is uh, the voice of coaching in Genshin Impact. This is uh, Kaylee Mills. Hello, everyone. That is me, the only other person in this call. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I'm very thankful and very grateful for you to, you know, I mean, accept to try and do something like this. I know it's been a while since we've talked like at all, but I yeah, figured yeah. I'll not reach out and see if I can get you on board with this. Uh, while we were talking, I heard that, or you told me that you weren't very good with directions. No, so. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I so got definitely... my entire uh, AP English class lost in Canada because they decided to give the map quest directions to me to tell everyone. And I'm uh, pretty sure that's why I did not get an A in that class. Impressive, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, hopefully it won't be uh, too bad going into here. Um, uh, the rules are pretty simple, uh, like I kind of talked about before. I mean, don't cheat. Uh, if there, we had someone accidentally go through a hole in the ceiling, which should not have been there. So hopefully all those holes are patched up now, but if not, just don't go up those. I'm not allowed uh, to seize the opportunity while it's there. Uh, I mean, if she look, if the hold is there and she says the voice line while you're there, then okay, who, okay, okay, who am I to say no? But yeah, the exit will be on the opposite side, uh, and yeah. So during this time, I'll also be asking you a few questions to uh, just try and to get people to know you a bit better and just kind of learn more about what you do because you're not just uh, you're not just coaching or you're not just the voice of coaching, but you do a lot of a lot of awesome stuff. So I want a, a lot of people to know. Thank you know, some you. of the cool things you've done. I'll try and remember them while I'm trying to do this. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. All right, so when you're ready to go, uh, just go up to the signboard, <coughs> click start game, and then... Oh. Uh, good luck. Oh, wow. There's even records. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Okay. Here we go. And is this cheating? Uh, no, if you want to use your abilities in there, that's what? fine. There we go. If it helps, then by all it's means. It's not helping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. That's okay. That's already the wrong way. <laughs> no worries. All right. Do, so, do, do, do. Uh, the first question I want to ask is, uh, from what I recall, one of the very first roles you ever got was for Black Rock Shooter, right? Uh, uh, no, uh, that was actually pretty recent. Oh really? Yeah, I you we. Were in the... Oh okay. We just dubbed it like last year, but oh, it, it came out right. a long time ago. Yeah. It came out a while, but yeah, okay, that's what it was. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Oops. So with the news of, uh, I guess the new show and everything coming out as well, I think, uh, I believe that this is something that a lot of people are very excited for. As you being a part of that dub, are you excited to see like? this series being revived or the show becoming to a more, I guess, a newer audience as well. I don't think a lot of people have seen the show or have heard of Block Rock Shooter recently. Yeah, yeah, I am super pumped for that because I actually cosplay Black Rock Shooter when I was in high school. Um, oh. I would have never thought that there would be a dub, let alone I would get the chance to audition for it, let alone be in it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's, it's a really great show. Um, there's a lot of depth to it. It's just really cool how they have how they put the two worlds together and how they interact with each other. And uh, I am really pumped for new people to see this that haven't heard of it before because it's it's pretty wild ride. For sure. I mean, when I first watched it, like who knows how long ago, I was just surprised with how intense and how amazing a lot of the animation was for a time back then. And yeah. So 
I mean, being able to see that with uh, a new lens will be very interesting and very exciting for me. Oh. Uh, well, <laughs> welcome back. Nice. I uh, did this it. does happen a lot. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> All good, all good. Okay. All right, uh, <laughs> I thought I was going that way again. No okay. worries. Oh, you know what so, helps? Looking at oh. the mini map. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm yeah. not in the same spot. <laughs> really helpful. There we go. Pro tip. <laughs> it does help, especially with stuff like this. Yeah, I definitely can. Uh, there was someone else who also did the exact same thing too. Hey, hilarious. gamers. <laughs> I'm about to do what's called a pro gamer move. Pro gamer, like you oh. might not be able to handle it at first, but but just trust me. Mm. Exactly. Ooh. Uh, one of the one of the things that uh, I know that you've been doing for aside from voice acting is also, uh, I guess, fitness and uh, it, I mean, following your Twitter and just knowing you as a person, like, it's very inspiring to see you know all your to see you, like lifting those weights and like. Oh. Showing your your lifestyle and doing all that. I mean, Thank it you. reminds me constantly that I should get back into it as well. <laughs> uh, but I, I kind of just want to hear like what got you into like you know into maintaining your your health and uh, trying to you know get into better shape. Was that a personal yeah. choice or more like a? Or, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Um. So I. Like, I played sports here and there as a kid, but I kind of really fell off in, like, high school. Like, just ate all the fast food, didn't really take very good care of myself. Um, and then I, I kind of reached a point where I, I got diagnosed with lupus in my early 20s. And I was like, okay, well, I don't want this to be something that's a problem uh, later in my life. So I was like, I'm going to be as healthy as I possibly can and be like the strongest version of myself so that there's no excuse. Like if something bad happens to me, I can just blame lupus. I know it's not my fault. <laughs> um, so I did and um, I started by running, but I didn't really like running all that much. I still don't. And then uh, I eventually discovered weightlifting and I had like the typical feeling I think a lot of girls feel where they're like, oh, I'm going to weightlift and I'm going to get like super bulky. Uh, but that's just not how it works. Like I, at this point I'm trying and I still can't like get super bulky. So yeah, I, I got super into that and I just love the idea of being able to, I'm going in circles, being able to uh, go and um, just make progress and learn how to do things better and more efficiently. Um, and I love data, so being able to like track my data over time was like really cool to me. Incoming. And yeah, now I like go every like I really don't miss days because I actually like to go to the gym. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's 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 fun for me now, and I like being strong. For and sure, I, I remember that one time where we were all. Uh, oh my God. Or that arm wrestling stuff that happened. Uh, oh, yeah! <laughs> At uh, Comic-Con, was... right? 2019. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. It feels like, I mean, it was a long time ago, but that was like, you know, the before before times. <laughs> before that was... Went crazy. I know, that was so fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, I uh, miss that. I miss all the Interlunium people, too. Yeah, for sure. I'm back at the beginning again, oh no. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I see your icon, I was like, oh, you're, you're moving away, and then all of a sudden, like, oh. I thought okay. I was making progress, because I'm like, oh, I'm going into different levels, so this must have been designed this way, but I still managed to go in a circle, so, you know. Yeah, I mean, all the levels oh. are connected in many different ways, so, uh, if you might, if you find one way to the next one, and then somewhere else, it might just take you back down, it's, try not to make it too hard, it's okay. Uh, yeah, but actually going along the lines of uh, Interlunium, uh, we actually met because of a mutual friend of ours, that uh, Caitlin, who created Interlunium in the first place. But We I, love Caitlin. We do, we do. And uh, you and Caitlin have been friends for a long time before that, right? You guys were yeah. doing covers and everything before. And uh, yeah, I was wondering, uh, do you think, you know, making those song covers of like, or recording like those Idol Master songs and uh, Precure and all those. Uh, Mermaid oh Melody, God. too. Oh yes, Mermaid Melody is like back at the beginning. Mm -hmm. It was just my life. Yeah. Oh, uh, so nostalgic. Think, 
Sorry, sorry. No, sorry. I was just saying it's nostalgic. What were you saying? <laughs> uh, no, no. I was just wondering if, uh, you know, making those videos helped you in any way with uh, working now in uh, the dubbing industry and voice acting in general. It has, like, a lot. Um, mm -hmm. I honestly wasn't sure it, it would because the state of the, the industry really was that we weren't dubbing any songs, um, all that kind of stuff. And I really wanted to do whatever I could to make it more common that we dub the songs and that, uh, like, the studios know we can do a good job with it. So I got a couple opportunities to, like, adapt lyrics, and they're like, oh, they just want to try this out. And I think one of the first ones was, like, Cells at Work. And I adapted the song lyrics to it, and they loved it, and it was amazing. Um, and the engineers did an amazing job, and the mixers did an amazing job. Um, and then from there, like... I just got more and more offers to write lyrics and sing in projects, and uh, I'm, I know I'm not the only one doing this. There's like, like Amanda Lee is doing a lot of stuff too, Amelie, um, and like just it's getting done more and more, and it makes me so happy because I'm like I feel like I'm a part of like moving it forward to being able to do it, um, and yeah, I just I never would have thought that I would be able to do this in like a professional capacity, so it's just still insane to me. And I do think it helps with, with the dubbing timing, too. Just, like, learning the flow of things and what sounds natural. Um, having to match speed and cadence, but keep the words natural. That helps with, like, adapting just normal scripts as well. So 100%. Oh nice, God. yeah. I mean, one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite like things hey. recently that I've heard you be able to adapt was uh, Clara's song in, uh, what, Irimokun? Yes! Uh, Welcome to Demon School. Yeah, that one. Yes. Uh, yeah, that was really cool to be able to see that uh, actually flow so well in English. Thank after, you. Even after listening to the Japanese, so like huge props to you. That must have been pretty tough to try and get everything like spot on, but I mean the the work was surely worth it. It sure. was, but it was so much fun too because I voiced my entire family in that show, and the songs are my entire family. So, um, oh, like oh, I... learning to sing in character, just like the I. Le learning, like, getting to sing is one thing, but, like, having to sing in, like, six different character voices together was a challenge, and that was so much fun, and I was like, if I never did Mermaid Melody, I don't know if I would have been able to do this. Thanks, Mermaid Melody. See, it all comes back to the originals. I love it, yeah. I'm waiting for <laughs> for some Mermaid Melody news to come up anytime. I know. We, we have uh, Tokyo Mew Mew soon, so I'm like, maybe That's also true. Mermaid Melody? Maybe, hopefully. I mean, look, if it goes well, I'm, I'll be very excited. All right, uh, moving on. I mean, I guess we can move on to this, uh, this oh, game. Oh no, uh, I ran out of time. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. I still have a timer going on my end. Uh, I told you it was bad. Oh no, I took a picture <laughs> of a wall. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not helpful. <laughs> Oh, everything looks the same, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so for, I mean, I guess since we're playing Genshin right now, uh, what was it like uh, hearing the news about, or the like such a positive response to the game and positive response to like you, uh, like you voicing Kaching and uh, how did you take all that news after learning about like how popular this game is and uh, how excited everyone was. I knew that when I booked it, they were like, oh, this game's, like, there's a lot of hype around it, it's gonna be big, but I didn't, like, at all understand how, how big that it has, like, such a following. It's like its own, Genshin's like a, a culture at this point. <laughs> yeah. It's not just a game. Um, and I, I'm just blown away by how interested people are in the game and, like, invested in the characters and... A lot of people play with the English voices, which is really cool. <laughs> and they and they like actually uh like they're interested in like what the English actors are doing and all of that, which is awesome. Cause like I mean I never expect people to be interested in in me, like just my characters, but it's still really nice when people are like interested in what's behind it too, you know. For sure, for sure. So what kind of got you into starting to play Genshin? Was it just everyone else was and you wanted to jump on that bandwagon or? It was kind of, it kind of started that way. People were like, you should play it, you should stream it. And I like, 
it was kind of hesitant to stream and all that, but eventually I I just thought I would give it a try and uh, I got really addicted to it and spent way too much money on it. <laughs> oh no, I remember Oh when... my god, yeah. <laughs> I remember you tweeted before, like, oh, I didn't want to, like, you were afraid to have this be, like, another Love Live incident. Oh, um, it was. And, but it seems that it, it was meant to be. That's, I'm sorry to hear. <laughs> oh, I mean, you know, it's, it's okay. I have a little bit more disposable income than in the time of uh, the Love Live incident. So I'm not, like, you know, going broke over it, but I probably should chill. <laughs> Ooh. Is it getting darker because I've been here so long, or because I'm in a different part of the game? Uh, it is the it is just getting turning into nighttime now. So. <laughs> oh my god, that's so bad. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm hungry. <laughs> I've been here so long. Golden shrimp bowls, oh. please. You're gonna make me sound so evil. No. I... <laughs> oh no. People are gonna flame me for keeping you in this maze. Boy. There's got to be like one path that that gets me further that I'm just not finding right now. Just like one one path. There is one way. Yes, if you find it, you'll be you'll be golden. Golden shrimp balls. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Uh, so one thing you mentioned earlier on was uh, how you cosplayed uh, back in high school and everything. Do you? And I know that you still cosplay a bit now. Mm -hmm. Is that something that? Uh, you still want to keep doing uh, as time goes on, or is it more just like, a, or like, yeah, like is that something that you just want to continue doing? And uh, why why did cosplay interest you? Um, yeah, I definitely want to keep doing it. it. I mean, it interested me in the first place in the same way that acting did. I think of like how fun I thought it was to play as a character and kind of like live in this different world and see things from a different point of view and. Uh, it's just, it's still fun to dress up. <laughs> it's not as easy to find the time to do it anymore, but but I do sometimes, and it's great every time, and I never regret it. <laughs> sure, for sure. I mean, those uh, recent catching uh, cosplays were, uh, were really nice. I like the with that Thank casual you. like winter outfit one. Yeah, cool. I was so surprised. I didn't actually expect that one to come in time. Ooh, there's a hole here. Um, I didn't, I think this is just to the beginning. Anyway, I didn't expect it to, uh, to come in time, and it came, and it was, like, really nice quality, and I was super happy. It's super comfortable. Like, I would actually wear that out on the street. And, uh, yeah, Maureen, uh, Price, who did my photography, is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, and I would love to shoot with her again. I just shot with her today, actually, for my headshots. She's, oh, she's just so nice. good. Yeah. Yeah, because I a lot of your a lot of your headshots now are not with this uh, this new stylish hair color, right? So. No, they're blonde. They're from like four years ago now. I'm like, wow, oh, it's four years. yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've uh, been in the not the after times. <laughs> mm, yeah. The apocalypse is lasting longer than it needs to. Right. Uh, <laughs> like, I wanna, oh I my god. Safely and freely go and visit everyone and. Not have to worry about too much anymore. But I know. Who knows? I'm getting way too comfortable just wearing a mask everywhere now. So I mean, <laughs> could just be the normal for me at least. Uh, I don't. I don't mind wearing one more, but I would like to not have to wear it when I'm like doing cardio. <laughs> oh, I already don't yeah. like doing cardio so much. So you know, I'd like to breathe a little bit better. Right? Yeah. Like when I when I've been going to the gym when I can, it's like I have to keep my mask on. It's like I have to. I have to lift with my mask on. I have to run with my mask yeah. on. How am I, what am I going to do? I'm already, I feel so out of shape already. Now I have less breathing. Oh. I know they say like it doesn't affect like the oxygen you can take in, but it does make you feel claustrophobic, which is not fun when you're hot and sweaty. Yes, yes, that is very true. Oh, I can see ah. outside. I can't get outside though. Uh, I don't think that's the right way then. <laughs> Everyone's going to be so frustrated watching this. They, they're gonna just be like, uh, you you've been this way eight times before. That's the same rock. Look, if they can't if they can't find the exit, I died. They can't do any... <laughs> you died. Wait, I accidentally, I accidentally <laughs> killed Kuching. 
Oh my goodness, this is- we've now never had go. someone- we've never had someone die in this maze! Heck yeah, How Bruce! I am so yeah. talented, look at this talent! <laughs> Our first death talented. in the maze! I- I can't believe this! <laughs> this wasn't meant to hurt people! Oh no! What have I done? I killed Kuching. We killed oh, Kuching. Boy. Oh, now I- now I really can't. <laughs> Let's see oh, how no. this video is gonna do. People are gonna have have my head. Uh, no, they're right, gonna have uh, mine because they're gonna be so annoyed at me just going in circles. <laughs> I promise, I'm actually trying. Like, I'm not trying to be cute. I'm literally just really bad. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Uh, all right. Um, so something that I wanted to, or something that interested me was that uh, you started or something that I saw is that you started to do uh, mocap classes, right? Motion capture yeah, and all that. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, tell me a bit more about that and like, what's the what's the end goal here with these classes? Oh, look, I found the beginning Welcome again. <laughs> Can I just... <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> um, I don't know about my end goal yet, because honestly, I feel like I, I'm really just starting. Like, I've been having so much fun with these classes, but I haven't actually... I still need to put together kind of like a movement reel and some photo comps of me just moving around and start auditioning. I haven't even, like, poked my agent about it yet. Um, but I plan on doing that in the next couple weeks, especially now that I have, like, headshots and stuff. It's easier when you have all the things, but... uh I just think it would be really fun to do motion capture also for a game that I voice in. Yeah. It'd be really cool. Uh, I'd like to learn more um, fighting techniques. Like, I took karate from like a McDojo when I was like nine. <laughs> uh, oh. That's about the extent of my training in martial arts, but uh, I'd like to train again as an adult. Uh, that would be really cool. And then to bring that into mocap. And I mean, I have like the weightlifting background, so like I'm pretty good with like the awareness of my body and I feel like I have like kind of the prerequisite prerequisite strength for a lot of that stuff so I think it will help me. Yeah, well, I like you... feeling... Oh, sorry. Oh, I was saying, I like feeling like a badass so I would like ah. to do that. <laughs> gotcha. And so what do you do in those classes? Like is it just practicing like different movements and make sure that you can like comfortably like roll around and not like hurt yourself or... Uh... Not as much that um like the last one i took was like heroes and monsters so it's kind of like about what like makes a hero and a monster like movement wise uh for instance oh. for monsters a lot of the monsters like they're very controlled by like you know like you have to think about the size of the monster and how, like their breathing is a big part of it and like how like a larger monster would breathe and using that to like with force and sometimes like objects that you can use to carry for like weight and um, like a lot of monsters, their their like movements based around the fact that it's incredibly painful for them. Like that's what makes a lot of monsters scary, stuff like that. It's really interesting to like kind of understand why they move the way that they do, and then apply that. Okay, gotcha. And then that's a really lot of cool. them, yeah, a lot of them are like based on animals too. So like, there's a lot of animal <laughs> study and how animals move that we would have to do. Like we'd have to explain our animal and their like behaviors and. That's really fun, really cool too. Okay, so uh, okay, so for an example, like if you were to try and imitate like a bear, so what types of things would someone have to pay attention to to like get that movement correct? Then? I mean, I'm not a professional, so I feel so, so, so bad like talking about it. But I'll oh. um, no, I'll, okay, so. I guess you like you can you can use breath still with that like bears are large so like their steps are heavy so like what would cause a heavy step and like how would they breathe and like how do their shoulders move like you know are, they're not just walking like this but they're like very big and muscular and they like you know have more rounded movements so like just getting your whole body into it and then you just like you could breathe and like snarl in certain ways that that feel like the animal and that's like that all contributes to how they move. Gotcha. That is a lot to. I mean, I'm sure they take a lot of that into consideration. Then, especially with how how realistic and how amazing some of these newer games are with uh, with like the with all that movement and uh, stuff like the new Horizon game and things like that are what come to oh, mind. Oh yeah, like absolutely. Some of that is, is actually just you know chef's kiss. It's insane. Like the, how realistic. Like we we 
gotten with the animation and all of that stuff. Yeah, before I can definitely say it's like it was more uncanny valley before we could get into some of the more like smooth and realistic movements, but it's really cool to be able to see that progression and kind of be there for it as a person, especially for you as someone who wants to, you know, start getting into that side of the industry as well. I mean, yeah, I'm wishing you the best of luck. To Thank you. Yeah, because it's also kind of scary because I'm starting kind of from scratch there. I mean, like, yeah, I have the, the acting base and that helps, but like it's a totally different set of skills. And I'm like little baby in it again. You know, it's like when you start when you take your first voiceover class and you've never done voice acting before. It's like kind of terrifying, but it's also kind of fun. For sure. I mean, I, I mean, this is coming from someone who hasn't taken any classes of that. But uh, I don't know. It's always exciting to try new things, especially once you've you know, you felt like you're, you just want to expand after, you know, being able to do something for a bit like you're ready to move and kind of grow and like see what's more or what's out there right and yeah i think this is a really cool next step for you so i'm hoping to see you in some future titles i mean it'll be very exciting you've already done or you've already done quite a few voices in like video games already one of my favorites I've, is probably yeah. river city girls uh, oh my god so much fun i love that <laughs> that game it's such a good game and uh the the sequel or rivers or yeah right the sequel is coming out soon ish yeah i don't online. i don't actually know when uh mm -hmm. but i'm sure that the, they will let us know soon because i think they said i think they said it was supposed to come out this year i i actually don't know yeah that was the last of, that i heard of it but i'll i'll check later and see yeah. what the actual news is but uh yeah so is the i guess how is it is it is there any difference between recording for you know, a game versus an anime. Like, do you prefer one over the other? Or mm. should you not say because, you know... No, I can I'm say. Like, yeah. It's fine. Um, so with... Uh, the, the, the biggest thing, I guess, would be anime is always dubbed to picture. So we always are kind of locked into whatever's on screen. We have to match the flaps. And it can kind of uh, feel a little bit boxed in sometimes. Uh, especially, like, when you're first learning because you just have to pay so much attention to two things at once. I'm used to it now, but it's still a little bit nicer to be able to have the freedom that something like games tend to give you like there are some things that you dub in games but generally you're not super confined to like strict timing of phrases and stuff like that so it's nice to kind of be able to go through and you don't get out of the story because like you might go through like a chunk of dialogue and you just you just keep rolling unless they need something different ito please <laughs> sorry he's uh going <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, they're they're both fun in their own ways. I, I will say that it is. I do think it's fun in anime. The fact that you are boxed in with having what exactly what you're doing already on screen. Uh, so like knowing what you're doing and like being able to like in real time hear your voice come out of a character is just it's just fun. It's just cool. Uh, but yeah, and the one thing uh, with River City Girls, like you specifically mentioned, is that's actually a really rare occurrence where uh, I recorded with Kira, like we record together. So the reason that dialogue sounds so natural as a back and forth is because it actually was. Oh, that makes so much, mm -hmm. oh, okay, that's so cool. Yeah, yeah. Cause, like just playing through the game, I was like, wow, like these, this back and forth and it just felt, it just didn't feel like, you know, just two separate people. And like, I could just feel like the, the egging and some of that back and forthness. Yeah. Like, okay, gotcha. Yeah, so we like directly had each other's energy to play off of. It was really fun. Okay, sweet. I mean, I, it's one of my it's one of my go to games when I'm just like, you know, just need to get my mind off things. Like, who doesn't like just beating people yeah. up on the streets? <laughs> and the music is so good because it's True. like it's it's got like this chill undertone to it. And, like mm -hmm. Megan's just amazing. Agreed, agreed. Oh my god. I thought I was close for a minute because I was like getting further away and then I just did not find a way through. I'm gonna try. Oh. I'm still trying. I just. Oh, I took another picture of the wall. <laughs> That's the... I mean, it'll be a, it's a different wall, so. It may be a different wall. I don't actually know if it's a different wall. <laughs> I was not kidding. I it, It's. It's a bit of an impediment, but I, I do try. <laughs> no, no, of course, of course. 
Alright, uh... Here, let me see. Mm. Okay, okay. Alright, we'll give it a few more a few more minutes and then I'll move to the exit so that you can kind of have a, a waypoint of where you need to be. Or do you want me to stay here and you want to keep uh, attempting this? I can just try a little bit longer. I think this is okay. where I got to before where I was like, okay, this is new, but then it just goes up and I'm like... And then I end up going up and back is the problem. Oh, okay. So then I end up going that way, and I don't know. I don't think, because this doesn't go this way anymore. Not that you know where I am exactly, but maybe you do. I don't know. Uh, maybe you know I, exactly where I am. No, not exactly. But I have, like, I have, like, nicknames for a bunch of the different areas of, like, where people usually can get stuck at. Like, there's, uh, there's just... Stupid, stupid blocks one, stupid blocks two on the other end, and then there's like the open area, and then the, and then there's like this the loop thing that you probably found early on in the beginning of. That's probably what brought you back here, actually. Probably. Uh, is the the patented the patented loop thing that I made on accident. I was like, wow, this is a very convenient hole. I wonder if people are gonna walk or gonna fall into it thinking that there's gonna be something new and then uh but yeah so it's a good maze right. <laughs> thank you yeah i would die in it in real life <laughs> i mean with all this climbing and everything i don't know how many people would be able to like get through all of this irl it'd be cool to see this actually made in person but i, I might do better be in real life to. Only because oh. I can like make a, I could like make a, a footprint and leave it there. Oh, true. Or something. True. I could mark my way. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think I can. Is there anything I can like throw on the ground and leave? I don't think so. No. Is that you cheating? Could, you could take <laughs> pictures. <laughs> uh -huh. But how do I view them? I don't even know how to view my pictures. Oh. oh I'm back at the beginning. No. Oh no. Oh. Uh. <sighs> All right. Uh. So okay, I will, I'll ask him a few more questions and see. Uh, but yes, good luck on the rest of it. Um, one of the things that uh, that we talked about a little bit before was, I guess, uh, idol culture and just idols in general. Like both of us are very, very big fans of idols and yes. just idol anime and everything and everything like that. So uh, I wanted to hear your story about like what got you into. Uh, you know, what introduced you to idols, what kept you uh, liking them, and, you know, how are your feelings about them now? Do you still feel the same way, or do you think something has changed over the past X amount of years? Mm. Uh, I mean, Mermaid Melody is probably the answer to, like, what got me into idols. <laughs> mm, yes. Um, I mean, anime in general, I kind of got into by the music, because I remember hearing, like, the Naruto themes uh, on when I was a kid, and I was like, this music is so good. I love this music, and I got into J-pop, and then uh, into, like, Mermaid Melody when I found a lot of stuff online, and um, I just, I don't know, I just, I love the music. I love how different it was from, like, what we had here, and I just, I really resonated with it, and it's, like, just, it was so positive, and it really helped me with where I was at in life, and the girls were all, like, my age, you know, when I was in, like, middle school, high school. So I, I really, like, related with them there. Um, and now, you know, like, I, I, I guess I don't relate as directly as I did before, because I'm just at a different point in my life, but I still love them, and I still love to see their growth, and I love their distinct personalities and how they'll have, you know, songs that, that like, their individual songs or a song that they're a center in that, like, is around their story and their personality. Yeah, how story-based a lot of it is is just so nice to me. Um, I liked... Because I, I like... Like, with the anime music in general, I love that the themes, even if they aren't directly written, like, super specific to the... Like, they are... How do I explain this? There's, they... They go with the story without being like, this is the story, it's a musical of the story, and I just... I like the way that they tell the story in their own way. Oh, I definitely feel that. So, all right, let's say if you're trying to introduce someone to 
like idols or anime idols in general like what yeah. what shows would you try and start them on first obviously it seems like mermaid melody would mm. probably be one of the first picks but if you had to choose like maybe two other shows uh what would they be in order to get someone hooked on uh idol on idols in general that's hard because like mermaid yeah mermaid melody was my first but i feel like if i was like trying to bring somebody new into it like that's that's more of like a it's it's not new anymore. Like it's it's old. It's an old anime now. Uh, yeah. So I'm trying to think of what I would bring them into now. Uh, I mean, Love Live is just still so big. That's such oh, a good yeah. one. <laughs> I personally like love and adore Idol Master, and I liked playing the games. I feel like it's a little more niche though. Um, so I think I'd want to introduce them to something like Love Live that has a big uh, following here so like you know they can talk about it with other people more easily i feel like idol master it's kind of harder to find people but yeah. i'm still surprised <laughs> that it's very like to even play some of the idol master games like they're still in like japanese only i think mm -hmm. all of the games are right like they are I'm surprised that they haven't like you know localized them or did anything to try and uh i know, you know i I really hope that they will, because, like, I played two, but I had to play, like, with the wiki up, because I, I don't read perfect Japanese. I still suck at kanji, even now. <laughs> um, yeah, but hopefully, I mean, yeah, I think it's, uh, yeah, sorry for making that kind of a, kind of a hard question. Oh, like, yeah, no, it, it is, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, I think it's interesting, because I think people who are a fan of idols nowadays, I think, have, you know, a different sense of it compared to someone who was watching like some of those older shows all the like a while back and you know growing up growing up with that and i mean for me like watching i guess like groups like muse and aqua like grow and like you know grow with them i guess yeah and you find them like it's kind of a crazy and surreal moment to moment to have and like i, mean, I think those I are still good want too. to support them and you know they had their live and i like, couldn't I was trying to get those tickets for that giveaway, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think it's a good show for that too, because they, they do even come to America to perform sometimes. So if you like <clears throat> can hook somebody on that with like, hey, this is also the group and they, they do this in real life and they might even come here. Like when they came, I saw Aqua when they came to AX like four years ago or something like that. And it was really good. It was crazy. Were you there with, for the when they did the rainbow, the pen light rainbow? Yes, was I was. Nice, oh my goodness. I wish I was there. Uh, so so jealous, I was like, oh. They were so happy, they were like, wow, they didn't expect us to do that. So, yeah, like, I mean, yeah we're competent that... too, we can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was something that not a lot of people have like done before, like that, uh, that level of coordination. Uh, props to the people who like set that all up because that was it must have taken so long and I mean I'm glad that everyone was you know on board and wanted to do something so cool and so special for them yeah it was very sweet they were so happy I bet I mean that's such a huge show of like you know joy and praise of like you know we like ah oh. Man, idols. Oh, we could, idols. I could go on for days. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Uh, how how are you doing? How are you feeling right now? I don't think I've found a new place in a while. Okay. I think there's only one new place, and I think it's the right way, and I'm not finding it. It might be at this point. We'll see. I think I've been <laughs> everywhere. Like, there's no way I haven't been on every single rock in this game. <laughs> I am best friends with every rock, but they still won't tell me the way. They won't let me cheat. They won't let you. Oh, goodness. Ito, the rock whisperer. Well, it is becoming daytime again on the oh, outside. Oh, no. So... <laughs> oh, no. That's so bad. No, I mean, hopefully you'll uh... shed some more light in there. It's. What's my time at? Uh, you probably don't want to know. Did I beat the other guy that you were worried about? Me not. <laughs> me? Yeah, yeah. Actually, you're close. You're close. Maybe like I'm close. Actually, two more minutes. I have then... two more minutes, and then I'm just at max then, suffering. Yeah, this feels you, like the right way. Okay. Oh no, this is back. Damn it. 
<laughs> I felt like the right way was the opposite. I. Mm. I mean, it'll be breaking all of the records. It'll be great. Like. First one to die. Big number good. First... Big number good. <laughs> Ito like so, big number. True, true. Big guy like big numbers. This is what I we agree. get for killing coaching. Ah. Uh, we deserve wait. this. Okay. <laughs> I deserve. I don't know. Why I'm saying we like anyone else is responsible for this. <laughs> oh, um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's totally fine. I'm I'm glad that well okay I'm not glad that you're suffering but I'm happy that you're, I'm just happy that you're here and you know trying this all out. Thank you. <laughs> I am trying. Mm -hmm. I am. Okay. At first I tried the tactic of like, I'm gonna take every left and then I'll take like the next right if a left is a dead end, but then it turned into just a million ways to go and I was like, this is, I'm not gonna remember. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely hard for like 3D mazes. I think, it's then, hard. Yeah, to think about up and down, it's like, is, is that really <laughs> worth it? It's like, uh... <laughs> All right, uh, okay. One of, so another question that I had for you was, uh, I guess, do you think uh with this or with the release of genshin impact and i guess everyone kind of i see a lot of the voice actors like getting together and like doing a lot of fun collabs and just uh yeah being able to you know hang out a lot more because of the game uh do you think this is something that hopefully can be seen continue with other games as well or why do you think this game in particular was able to you know help foster these connections with People I'm sure you've already known beforehand, but now, you know, now you're seeing each other more or like interacting with each other more, et cetera, et cetera. Like, yeah, um, that's a tough one. I mean, cause, cause like the characters in Genshin are amazing. It's a super fun game, but it's not like there aren't other fun games with great characters. So like, I wish I knew the magic that, that, that made it this way. Um, but it's it's hard to say. I mean, but it, but it is amazing because I have met like a lot of new people too that I like did not know existed and are just lovely people that I've met through uh, Genshin and getting to go to events together. And I don't know why like it got as ridiculously huge as it did. Like I do think it's a good game, but like I don't I don't know what sets it apart to such an extent that it has. I just know that I'm really grateful for all the opportunities it's afforded me. Uh, and all the people I've gotten to meet, and and all the fun things I've gotten to do. It's crazy. I wish I had a better answer. I just, like, I don't know. I don't know hey, no, why no, it's, it's so good. <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah, no, I think it's just it's just tough to... It's a tough one to, to answer. Hopefully, I'll get to hear other people's responses to that as well. Yeah. But, I mean, it's, it's really crazy to see how much of a... I mean how much of an impact i guess that yeah. this game has had on a lot of different people and so uh yeah i'm just i mean i'm also really grateful for this game right like it was just something nice to at first it was just something nice to do while you know being stuck at home but now it's given me the opportunity to be able to you know start content creation and start you know talking with talking with people like you like people i haven't yeah. talked or seen in such a long time I'm like oh my goodness yeah, maybe it is the timing too. Like people just had more time to commit to the game and like oh, yeah, yeah. playing with each other in the world since they couldn't see each other in real life. Um, it definitely kind of brings back the vibes it had when I was a kid and like none of my friends in real life knew about this stuff. <laughs> uh, and once something gets traction, you know, then you have a community around it and then being a part of that community seems like fun. So like a lot more people are attracted to it, which is really cool. Ooh, this looks different. This doesn't look oh. different, though. It did for a minute, though. Wait. Wait. I need to go back that way if I can't figure this out here, though, because that seemed like a good way. Okay, no, this is dumb block, so we go back. Oh, you found dumb blocks? Nice. Okay, good. I think I found a couple dumb blocks. Yeah, I am the have... dumb block. <laughs> We have no! a few in there, because I got, I got two, I was running out of materials, and I was like, oh god, 
what can I put in here? <laughs> so, dumb, that's where the dumb blocks go, because I was dumb and did not plan my resources, and instead just put a bunch of stuff together and, you know, pray for the best. I feel like something's going on in here. I would like to... From my from my positioning or from what I can see on the mini map, it looks like you're close-ish to where you need to be. But don't don't take my word on that. It's I don't know specifically where you are, so I'm just going to. Going I to fell assume. into a hole. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that tells you anything, but I was in a hole. Uh, like it just not. <laughs> There's a lot of those. Uh, there are quite a few. Yeah, I, I I would not be able to tell you if that was the right hole, but it was a good hole. <laughs> <laughs> this is solid hole. Uh, mm, not that way. So one of the one of the things that uh, obviously comes with being a, how a professional in this industry is being able to or having the opportunity to I guess audition for a lot of different roles, right? Yeah. Uh, so obviously not everyone gets the roles that they want or that they audition for sometimes. And, you know, at the beginning, I'm sure it takes a lot on like your mental health or things like that. Like, mm -hmm. as you've been doing this for quite a while now, how, or do you have any, or what is your like go-to, I guess, is there a remedy that you use or anything that you do to kind of get over that when you don't hear back or... Do you, have you just gone to the point where it's like, uh, you know, it's just another audition, shrug, move on to the next one? Uh, that's what I tell myself, uh, and that's what I try my best to do, is like every time, you know, you send it and you forget about it, because if you think about it, e even within like, you know, a, a casting pool that a studio might have, like, there might be 500 people going for the same role, and they're mostly really good people, so you just kind of have to send it and forget it because you might have the best audition on the planet and so like the best thing you can do is be proud of what you've done and be like i did my best and this is a really good read and maybe i learned something uh that i can use for like another character and then you forget and there are things you get attached to and best you can't help it the sweet, sweet uh, sorry ito's talking and i am distracted <laughs> no worries I want them all fair and square. okay yes we like snacks <laughs> that's right okay anyway yeah i try to I try to send and forget. Um, I do get attached sometimes, and that's just hard. And I guess in those instances, I just try and do other things that are fun that aren't related to my work. Like I go do a workout or research something for a workout or like make some food or plan a nice dinner or play a game that has nothing to do with what I just auditioned for. <laughs> Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely tough. I definitely have talked to quite a few people who have, you know, auditioned for something and there's like, they're excited and then like in my, and then later on they're like, ah, oh, everything yeah. sucks. And it's like, well. No, but how lucky are we that we even got to audition? Because like there, I mean, there are still places out there I want to audition for and just like, I don't get to audition or like no matter how many times I audition, like just nothing and like that that happens but like the fact that you still get to audition especially if you keep getting to audition even if you don't book the role like they like they're still hearing you your chances every time go up of them hearing something that they like in a read and just bringing you in for something uh and think about all of the people who want to be where you're at and want just the chance to audition and you got that already you literally got to do it that's awesome yeah exactly right i think it's a very like good way or like it's something that i don't think a lot of people think about or like have that mentality of like you know this is already a big opportunity for you and like i know it might suck to not have anything happen like multiple times like back to back but i mean like you said just the more people that can hear what you're capable of i think is going to be better in the long run anyway yeah right, so. and you're yeah, learning because I mean, you're getting to see what actual auditions are going around and like what you can bring to it so like <laughs> it's it's definitely you're getting something out of it regardless mm -hmm. yeah i think it's easy to forget how lucky uh we are to get to do this at all <laughs> um so like you know you might even have like a time where you really want a certain character and you get cast as someone else and maybe you find yourself thinking like oh i wish i was this other character but like i mean 
I, I get wanting to do different things, but like, how lucky are you that one, you got to, you still got to audition for it, you still got to try, and two, you're getting brought on to the, like a show or a game or something. Like, it doesn't matter if it's additional voices or anything. Like, somebody thought of you and they thought that you were the best person to do this job, and that's just awesome. Uh, this is actually, <laughs> I was thinking about this while you're answering. Uh, this is more of a personal thing. I, I don't know if I'm going to add this part or not, but <laughs> do you ever get tired of people asking you how to get into the industry? <laughs> like, that, I'm sure you get that all the time, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> so the answer is kind of, <laughs> uh, and it's not because I'm like, oh, another person just doing this and they're not going to do anything with it. It's because... There's so much good information out there and I get such generic questions and that's I guess what can bother me because you can literally go to IWantToBeAVoiceActor.com and get so much great information for starting out uh, that you won't need to come to me and ask, how do I be a voice actor? How do I get started? Um, because like there's that information's already available to you and it's already worded better than I can word and there's already links to things you can literally join and do. Uh, but if someone comes to me with a specific question, like, hey, I've been doing my research, I've been auditioning, and, like, uh, you know, there's this thing I've been wanting to try, like, in an audition, is it okay if I, you know, ad lib, or, like, should I change my voice up between lines, should I add texture here, like, is that something that would, like, is okay generally in an audition, something like, very, like, a specific question like that, absolutely no problem with, like, I'm like, cool, you've done your research, and... I get it, like, the, there's no definitive answer to something like that, so you want to ask someone who's actually doing it and working. So that stuff absolutely doesn't bother me at all. Like, I'm I'm thrilled to answer it. <laughs> uh, but I guess for, for the basic, how do I get into voice acting, like, I, all I can give is a generic answer, which already exists, so that's, that's where it sometimes can be a little bit, like, tiring, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I... I would hate to be asked the exact same thing <laughs> over and over and like the answer is or like a yeah. good answer is just a Google search away. Yeah. But, uh yeah, I mean like your your guys' patience from what I've seen in panels and everything like that where everyone I mean here's the thing <laughs> too. Like if we're at a con, right? Like one way or another we're like being paid to be at a con, so mm -hmm. if that's how people want to spend the time that they have then that's up to them and I like I'll, I'll, I will answer the generic question but obviously a generic question is only going to get a generic answer so I just think both people benefit more from a more specific question of course yeah speaking of cons do you have like a memorable con experience recently I know that everyone's kind of getting back into that con spirit and like starting to go to cons again and all that but do you have any favorite memories that of anything recent or just in the past I haven't gone to too many cons recently. Uh, one fun thing, though, from Anime Pasadena was there was a, a Jingcho uh, cosplayer and or Singcho cosplayer, and he uh, showed me his like business card because he does videos and stuff, and it had uh, Hibiki from Idol Master on it, and I just flipped out. That was it for me. Because oh, <laughs> no. she's my best girl. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah, and then there was a, uh, I went to WeebCon last year, and uh, a couple of my friends and voice actors went to this place called, uh, was it Taste of Europe? Uh, Mike McFarland took us, and it was so fantastic, and it was so much fun. And, like, I had been looking at his Facebook posts and, like, Twitter posts about this specific honey cake, and they had it there, and it was just as good as I had hoped. So, yeah. <laughs> Food. Food, yes, that's always a plus, yeah. It's always nice yeah. to be able to go around and, you know, see what's good. And it's oh, probably yeah. one, of the many, one of the many bonuses of being able to get invited to cons and travel around and stuff like it that. It is. I also went to Pecan Lodge, which is like one of the top rated barbecue places there that I've been watching YouTube videos about for like six years. And it was oh, just wow. as good. <laughs> it was also just as good as like the videos said. So I was very, it was very happy food experience for me. Nice. I. Uh, I think you have a, or do you have any cons lined up in the, or soonish that you want to that you want to shout out right now? I only have one that I can announce. Well, technically two. So I'm doing an online event with GalaxyCon uh, the weekend of March. I believe it's March fourth is the day we're doing the uh, panel. So we're doing like a free Q and A panel, and then you can like purchase one on ones and autographs and stuff. So like you can like one on one video chat with us. 
uh, and that's pretty cool. Uh, and then the actual con that I have is MizuCon in Miami. And I have to look at the exact dates. Uh, let me check my calendar real quick. Uh, but it's in May. And uh, I have no idea who else is going to be there yet. Because I think I'm the only person who's announced so far. But it is May 28th that weekend. So the 27th to the 29th. Or the 30th. And uh, yeah, that should be fun. That'll be my first like away con in a very long time. So I am looking forward to it. Yes. I'm very excited. I'm, I don't I don't think I'll be able to catch that one, but hopefully hopefully some other time. Right? Yeah. If anyone in that area, I'm sure they'll love to come say hi for sure. I hope so. <laughs> Please come say hi. Please don't leave me by myself. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh... <laughs> Alright, it is oh six, so I will... <laughs> oh my god, I... I will make my way to the exit, and then make my way inside to try and see if I can find where you are. And okay. Guide you out. Sounds I don't wanna... like a plan. <laughs> uh, let's see. Alright. I have to see where I am. Okay. Right. Uh, uh, yeah. Let me try and go towards you then. All right. So you're above me, I'm guessing. Cause I was I was over here before, but I couldn't get up there. Is it up here then? Like way up here? Uh, Don't tell no. me I've been like near it the whole time. Let's see. Through right. here. Through here. So you're below me now. Yeah, I accidentally just fell, but hopefully I can... Now I... Oh god, if I get lost, that would actually be embarrassing. That would be so funny. <laughs> I would feel so much better about myself. <laughs> okay, wait. No, I think... I think I found it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, no, we're good. We're good. Okay. Not Did not get lost in my own maze, you know? It's fine. We're good. We're good. Alright. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if I can find you from here. Uh, oh, there so, you are. Oh, there you are. All right. So if you come come to where I am. Uh-huh. All right. We're going to go over here. We're going to come over here. And then down here. And... Oh! Congratulations! Oh, congrats! Oh, I can't even end it because I just took uh, so yeah. long. <laughs> the ten, yeah, the ten minute timer. Really New fun. record! New On record! On top of the indeed. scoreboard, Kaylee Mills. Oh my goodness! <laughs> congrats! Welcome to the outside. How does it feel to not be, you know, stuck in there and you can? I just want to say I, way. I have fantastic endurance, and everyone should be very jealous. Honestly, endurance both IRL and in game. Being able to <laughs> stay in there for that long. I am deeply impressed and I'm once again very grateful for you to uh, tackle this this beast. Hopefully it wasn't too bad and hopefully I was able to, you know, keep good company while you were going through there. I mean I did I didn't do it by myself, but I tried. I tried real you hard. <laughs> I ran my head against the wall and nothing happened, but we had a good time. All right, I'm glad <laughs> to hear that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I I actually won't I, I won't tell you how long you actually took. You'll have to wait until the video comes out. Oh, that's but sad. It will be it'll be fun. Okay. It'll, I'll definitely send you the link. Uh, oh, coaching is alive. Nice. I gave her some back, food. Back from the dead. Perfect. So. But yeah, all right. Uh, thank you very much once again, Kaylee, for uh, stopping by and going through the maze and answering all of my questions. Uh, there are definitely a lot this time around, so I'm really grateful that we were able to get through that plus a bit extra. Yeah, thank you for having me and asking great questions. It was really good to talk to you because, yeah, it's been entirely too long. I looked at like our chat history and it was like two years since we last had a text or something. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> oh my god. Like, I'm... It's like, what am, what am I going to do? I, got, I was so nervous, like, messaging you. I was like, oh, God. No, but we know each other. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. But it was like, oh, God. I had to DM Caitlyn. like, oh, God, did she remember who I am? Yes, like, of course I do. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, yeah, we should definitely... 
pl make some plans, hang out sometime soon. Uh, yeah. Um, where, but yes, so thank you very much once again. Uh, let's see, do you have anything to, or before we head out, do you have anything to shout out? Uh, Twitter, any of your other socials, things like that. Oh yeah, uh, so if you want to follow me, see what I'm up to, uh, my most active place is Twitter, at Kaylee Mills, and I'm, I also do Instagram at Kaylee Mills, and uh, sometimes TikTok at Mind The Donut heart. Gremlin. World be uh, yeah, those are the best places to find me. I, I stream on Twitch sometimes, also at Kaylee Mills, but uh, I always post on Twitter if I'm going to do that. And yeah, that that's about it. Right, perfect. Yeah, I'll be sure to link those either on the video or somewhere down in the description. But uh, once again, thank you very much uh, for stopping by. Uh, if you like what you see uh, and want to see a bit more, uh, please don't hesitate to click the subscribe button, uh, press the bell for notifications, and like the video uh, if you did enjoy it. Uh, if you have any one that you want to try and get through the maze, please send me those uh, recommendations in the comments section below. And with that, uh, yeah, that'll be the end. Thank you very foe. much for watching. My name is Protagonist, you can call me Protag. Foe. And That's why have I a good night, good day, areas. good wherever you are. Thank you.